In this video, I'm going to be going through the real quick process of the checkout with the WP Job Manager Packages plugin. So right now I have the configuration set to require a package to view a listing. So I'm going to go ahead and click on a view a listing. And as you can see, I don't have the redirect set up, but I do have it set up to output this short code. So let's go ahead and show you that real quick. Let's go to, I don't think it's in any of those. Go to job listing, settings, and you can ignore this for now. That's just for testing purposes. And as you can see here, I have view job, require job package, view single job. And then I just used view job packages. As you can see here, you can create your own if you wanted to put out text and have the URL in there, um, or you could just redirect directly to the page. Let's go back over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and purchase, let's purchase this premium one. Um, actually, let's do plus so you can see the limits. I'm gonna select this package. And then just go ahead and fill this out real quick. So as you can see here, now I've already added a coupon on here. As you can see on here, uh, it also shows, uh, based on the package, what it includes. So you can see unlimited, browse unlimited, view 10, apply to five. So I'm gonna place my order. That should check out, and that should give us that package. And see now here, you can actually see, it also gives you a link right back to the listing we were previously viewing. And so the way that works is once you click on that, you'll come back here, and you'll notice now at the top, we have your packages. Because we're using a view limit, uh, each time you view a, a listing or apply to one, you have to select your package. You could also purchase another one or just use your view package. So we'll go ahead and click that. And we can now view this listing. And as you'll see, we can now see the actual listing itself and just specifically this listing. And if I go to my account page, You'll see now I have the visibility package. You'll, you'll see right here, and it shows browse, view, and apply. And so view one of 10, as you can see, I've used one of my 10 views that are available. You can click here to immediately go to see it. Um, and this will be the same if there were any for apply, it would show those under there. Um, same with browse if you have them or not. The package page or the package table can actually be configured on here from this, as you see, enable semantic UI. You can actually select the colors. Um, you can change the colors if you wanted to. Uh, browse color, view color. And that's, if you remember, that is those colors you saw right here. See this and this table. And the page is being output on the My Account page because I have this enabled right here. User package list table on the My Account page. If you wanted to, you could use this short code right here and you could output it on any page you'd like. So that is the quick overview of the checkout process for a package as well as the My Account page. I uh, hope to see you in one of the next videos.